name is Tiana and in today's video we are doing another house to forever home update if you are new welcome 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 we have a lot of new people here because they came over from TikTok so if you're from TikTok hey girl hey and comment I'm from TikTok <laughs> down below um, and so today guys we're actually going to do like a garage update and I'm so excited about it and so I'm first of all let me just say I'm sorry that I have not been consistent I have had some major technical difficulties this past couple weeks first of all the camera broke i was ugh, girl i had just edited a video and then the camera broke so i think the memory card reader went out and if you don't have a memory card in there or if it can't read it you can't record because it can't store the footage that was a blower then i had to get an external hard drive that was a blower and so it's funny because my camera broke right before mother's day and eric was like i'm glad it broke because one you needed another one, but two, you never want anything for Mother's Day, which makes it so hard for him to figure out what to get me beyond just flowers. And so he's like, I'm buying the camera. <laughs> so we got the camera, but then the one I got was defective. The internal mic wasn't working, which was crazy. I'm like, okay, I don't think I want this camera now, but I end up getting the one that works, or another one that works. And then we got this like Sony tripod, like a remote control essentially. That didn't work, so I just sent that back and said, forget it, I'll use my own tripod. And so now we're officially back in business. I had the Canon G7X and the mirroring screen was above the lens. I would look at the screen when I'm recording. But this Sony ZV-1F, the mirror screen is on the right hand side now, which is a little bit weird for me because I'm used to looking at the screen. But if I look at the screen on the Sony, I'll look like I'm looking diagonal. So I have to look at the lens. So bear with me. This is the first video with the Sony. I heard the quality is bomb. So we'll see. Okay, anyways. All right, so today we're going to be in the garage, like I said, revamping that. Um, our garage isn't really messy or anything, but we just had some things to, like, clean out. We're still in the spring cleaning spirit, essentially. Um, we are car garage people, and we have three vehicles, so all of them are in the garage. We do not leave garage, I mean, we do not leave cars in the driveway. We've always been that way. Okay, so in our garage, we have to have as much off the floor as possible for it to work that way. And so Eric is actually getting a zero turn lawnmower here in a couple days because he wants to now service his own lawn, which I'm excited about. He really loves it and I love it for him. Um, we had a lawn service and a lawn guy, but they just weren't doing the lawn like Eric really wanted it done. So he said, if I can do it myself, and he's been doing a great job. Like since he's been on maternity leave or paternity leave, the lawn has looked the best it's ever looked like ever. And I'm so excited for him. So. His lawnmower is coming, so we had to make more space for the zero turn because it will live in the garage. We do not have a shade, nor do I want a shade. I feel like a shade is an extra garage, and we already have a three-car garage. Okay, that is it. Um, and so we decided to get it painted and get some um, brackets on the wall to like hang stuff up. So let's go see how the garage looks right now, and then... Um, I'll show you guys some other things that were going on outside because our one year inspection passed but they still haven't came and fixed the stuff that need to be fixed but we got one of the guys to come out to fix something that needed to be fixed immediately and then we paid somebody to fix it even better than they fixed it so I'm going to talk about all that when we go outside whoo 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 there's still a lot going on we were going to get the deck done this year too and the concrete patio I don't really care for a deck because we have a deck in our bedroom but it didn't make sense to get a deck or a concrete patio without a deck. Because if we ever sold our house, I'm sure the next owners would be kind of pissed that we got a concrete patio, not a deck. And they would want to rip up the concrete and get a deck, which would be way more expensive. Um, but then we had the discussion, like, let's just get our garage situation done. And just continue saving towards our basement so we can be on track to get our basement done next spring, next summer. Okay? All right. Let's go outside and see what we're working with. All right, guys, so here is the garage. We have a few projects that we are doing in here um, because our HOA sent us an email and said we can't have any trash cans outside. We only have one trash can outside for like poopy diapers and the dog poop because we pick it up when we take them for a walk. But we have to now bring that trash can inside so we have to clean that out and then figure out a new plan for that. Um, we also are getting our garage painted because we want it to be painted 
you guessed it, black. <laughs> That's my favorite color. <laughs> um, and then also, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, Eric is getting his zero turn lawnmower this week, so we had to make space for that too. So what we first did is took the deep freezer that was there, we took that downstairs in the basement and all the trash cans, it was like one trash can and two recycle bins right here. We moved the recycle bins here and the zero turn lawnmower will fit here because Eric's car and my car, it's enough space here. Um, these toy cars and stuff were back there, so we moved them up here. Um, we probably won't have the little tax car and the fire truck anymore after this year because Eric's, Eric's getting too tall for it. Um, he'll just have his blue bike right here because it turns into a regular bike. Right now it's a push bike. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, so what we've done, I guess, we have put these hooks up so the power tools will be there. We have some lawn stuff here. Um, we have a hook up here for the Sun Joe and the spreader. That is the Sun Joe and the spreader there. We bought the bikes upstairs from the basement because we actually got some bike hooks over here to put there. And then we also have some hooks on the wall for the um, outdoor brooms, shovels, rakes, and then the lawn chairs. And we don't care that the guy's gonna have to paint over these things. They're just hooks, so we truly don't care. Um, the only other thing we're gonna add in here is we're going to get one of those shelving systems um, that can house these so that we can access the bins easier. And Eric wants to be able to put his lawn stuff on the shelf as well, just so it's super, super neat. We wanna keep the, we don't want a lot of stuff on the floor. Um, we wanna keep as much off the floor as possible. And then anything else we're doing here? No, I think that's it. Um, and so let me show you guys what we're gonna do on the side of the house as far as the trash can situation, but for now, these two are gonna stay here. We're gonna have two trash cans right here. Um, and then the zero turn is gonna be right there. So let me show you what we're gonna do with the poopy diapers and stuff. All right, here we are on the side of the house. We're gonna get a new tree because Eric said this tree is dead. Um, but we're gonna get some gutted extenders as well. We want the water just to go as far away from the house as possible. But basically what we plan to do is just extend the mulch bed just a little bit, just to like here. So we could put like a metal little bin that can house like the poopy diapers and the dog poop. With all, I'll also mess up the grass. I can walk in the mulch and not have to walk in the grass, okay? Um, I also wanted to tell you guys of this little dilemma we had about two weeks ago that we didn't even know really about. And so this area, and I think this is the sprinkler system here. And that's what that is. But this thing right here, um, before it had this attachment, it was just like here to, and it stopped right here. It was here to here. And you guys see it's so muddy over here. It was all muddy all right there. And I just put a new piece of saw because we called our builder to um, fix the muddy situation. And so the pipe again, it stopped right here. So that was supposed to be like an ex a piece of the sun pump and it's supposed to push water away from the house. So honestly, this should have came out like two feet or so. So the water is coming away from the house. But the way they left the pipe or whatever, the PVC pipe, it was just pushing water back onto the house. That can turn into a major, major problem years down the line. So we wanted to fix that immediately. So we called our irrigation guy and he came out since he knows where all the pipes is for the sprinkler system he was able to do it so um efficiently for us so we added on this piece here and then ran it um underground so you can't see it and then the water now comes out here so the water is nowhere near the house and we put rocks around it so it's not like a little muddy puddle and like the water can like disperse evenly so if you guys have a sun pump we have a double sun pump and a grinder i would just make sure that the place where the water comes out is not leaning or falling back on your house um, and get it to go away from the house because that can cause major foundation issues okay
guys, this is the can we decided to get for the poop. Um, we got this from Home Depot for like twenty something dollars. But it's just a metal can. We gonna spray paint it black, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't decide to go black, y'all. We did a light color. We did the gray, like kind of like our house, and we like it better actually. Daddy got a new toy. Ooh. Got his headlights. Okay. All right, zero turn lawnmower. Got the 42 inch. Yes, look at them wheels. Look at the rims. <laughs> They 20s, but I don't. <laughs> they 20s. 10s, but I keep them clean, though. <laughs> uh, so he said it's missing the attachment bracket right here. But we already called Cub Cadet, and they're going to send it out. So it'll be there for what, babe, again? It'll be here. It's for this it's an attachment bracket right here. So that you can attach, um, you know, like aerator pieces or like, you know, different just attachment pieces. Okay, and this like is the Kohler engine and it's 22 host horsepower. Okay, I'm excited. So you're gonna park it in the yeah, I'm gonna park it in the garage to see how it fits, and then he's gonna cut this beautiful green grass. Mm -hmm. Okay. First of all, shout out to Hubby for just his organizational skills are like top tier. He is becoming such a more organized person and I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna break down what we did, why we did it probably um, to help you guys organize your garage. So over here we have just some fertilizer. I think it's malurganite and some paint, things that we didn't wanna put on the shelf. We hung up his leaf blower and his trimmer and edger he just got, as well as his chainsaw there. And then we have our power washer right here. We didn't put it on the shelf because it has wheels. I did not want it to roll off because his car goes here. I don't wanna hit his car. Okay. And then right here we got these two shelves, like I said, from Harbor Freight, I believe it's called. And um, they were really inexpensive, like $54, like really inexpensive. And um, this same shelf is at Lowe's and Home Depot for like 94 to 100 bucks. So we got two for basically the price of one. And we just put various things in these boxes that were messy. And then Eric had actually had his tools in the basement because we, you know, when we use the tools, we use them for stuff in the house mostly. Um, but he was able to bring them back out here to have it look really, really neat. Um, and we are just so excited with how this looks. It looks so good. So there's really nothing on the floor at all, which I love, okay? Then up here, he was able to hang the ladder as well as the sunjo and the spreader. It's actually two things on here. So the sun drop is the light green and then the spreader is the dark green. And then he got his beautiful Cub Cadet. I think I told you guys we were taking it back to Home Depot because the battery was out, but we called Cub Cadet and they said usually like, if that happens, it's because it's been sitting for a while. Um, and so he might just need like a quick boost, but he told us to take the battery to AutoZone. And if AutoZone says the battery is not good, they'll just send us another one. Um, so there's that. I think also there was a bracket missing, I think I told you guys, so they're sending that as well. And then we end up putting our recycling bins right there. He has these charts up here. We might get a cork board to make it look more neat, but in the future, you're supposed to be doing shelves. We might not do that, but it just tells him like when to put stuff down to make the grass 
look good. Our, our grass is the best grass right now and like our cul-de-sac, like it's really, really good. Like if not the best within the top two, okay? Um, and then over here, we was able to hang up his bikes. He has two Cannondale bikes. And then we have the car jack right there and like a wagon back there just in the corner. And then over here, we just have the shovel rakes brooms these are lawn chairs and i think chunk soccer goal and a, a fishing net and i think the last thing we're going to do is get something for these fishing rods here and probably put them right here at first eric said he didn't want them hung up on the wall but i think that we should so we're going to do that um and here's an, just an overview of what it's looking like it's extremely extremely neat i pray it stays this way also, we have a trash can here. We have a second trash can that goes there. We have little Eric stuff here. And like I told you guys, I think already, I can't remember what I already told you guys and what I didn't already tell you guys, but the fire truck and little tech spike will go at the end of the season because um, he's getting too big for those things, but we'll keep this bike because right now it's a push bike, but it can become an independent bike without me pushing it. So we're gonna keep that because it keeps growing with him. Um, but that's it guys so if you like this please let me know down below um, and if I, you have any suggestions please let me know I did see however one of our neighbors has these um, like storage racks in the ceiling so I think like right here where the ceiling is extended and then over there where the ceiling is like a little bit higher they have them there I don't know what we will put there we don't really have a large family so you know, I mean, we don't really have that much stuff. Y'all know I'm on my, middle, my minimalist tips, so I don't really have a bunch of extra stuff. Um, I can see luggage going up there in the future, but our plan for the basement is to have a nice storage closet, and so I think that'll be enough, okay? Oh, I didn't show you guys the outside. Let me do that really quick. So we did get a new tree, guys. I do not know what this thing is called. I think it's some type of holly, but we did get this tree right here. Um, it's going to grow about I think he said five feet so that's perfect so it's not really blocking this light here and then he just made the mulch flatter because it was like at a point and the guy said that's too much and so we also created a little extra over here so we can have our can for our poop okay all right guys that's all for today's video I'll see you next time bye